Big BBC shows cost big bucks and the perk of free TV licences for the over 75s is one the corporation says it can no longer afford. So it'll now make most pay unless they're on pension credit. It's either that, it says, or the closure of some channels. We have gone overboard to think of what is fair. If we carried on with the concession, we would have to lose three quarters of a billion pounds from our budget uh, each year, and that will rise as people get older. And that would mean the end of a lot of services that people of all ages want from the BBC. So what we've done is to come to a, a, what we think is a fair conclusion. Nevertheless, people are going to struggle. Pensioners are going to struggle as a result of this. You accept that? The government removed this concession uh, and told us to consult about what should uh, replace it. Uh, and we've had to come to a very hard decision. This year, most people will pay £154.50 for the licence fee, and it's free for the over 75s. That currently equates to more than three and a half million pensioners. From next June, though, they'll have to pay, except those receiving pension credit. That's around one and a half million households. In March, many took to the streets in protest at the possibility the concession could be taken away. Today, it was confirmed, and Age UK says it's not on. We can't see how it's fair to take away a concession from the poorest older people. That won't benefit anybody else. Um, we understand that the BBC faces cost pressures, but this is why it should never have been given the job of trying to maintain a, a social security payment to older people. That job should lie with the government. The Shadow Culture Secretary Tom Watson said he would continue to fight the decision. This Tory government committed to it in their 27 man uh, 17 manifesto. So it is a breach of trust and it's a broken promise. And I'm calling on all the Tory leadership candidates to honour the pledge that they made only last year, in uh, the year before last, in 2017, in their manifesto. OK, that's the TV licence sorted. The BBC insists its decision is fair. Tonight, many pensioners will disagree with that. Sajal Karia, ITV News.